Allow me to start this video by showing you two videos generated by two different models from just a text prompt. This first video which you can see on your screen is generated by WAN 2.214 billion text to video model. And this second video is generated from a text prompt by Google's VO2 model. The text prompt which I used for both the videos was same that a stealth fighter jets through a stormy sky, lightning flashing around it as it dives towards a glowing underground base. Did we see the lightning in both generations? Did we see the base? Is the stealth fighter there? And if the sky is stormy, I will let you be the judge. Let me play this Google DeepMind video again so we can see the base. We can see the lightning stealth jet is there and it's an underground base, right? Let's go to the van 2.2. We see the jet. We see the underground base. Do we see the lightning? There is a very slight faint hint of it, hint of it but it's not there. But other than that, the video is not bad at all. Google's VO2 and Alibaba's WAN 2.2 text to video 14 billion, both of them represent two of the most advanced large scale video generation models which have been developed just recently. In this video, we are going to compare both of them. I will not only show you a few more generations, but also I am going to show you and discuss with you the comparison on the basis of various benchmarks and yardsticks. So I'm sure you are going to enjoy this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel and also like the video as it helps a lot. If you are interested in learning more about these models, especially around installing this WAN 2.2, which was released like few hours ago, you can just go to my channel, search with it, and then you can get it installed locally and generate your own videos, either from text or from images. Plus there is also a 5 billion variant, which requires less VRAM and you can also install it locally. And I have already covered it too. So let's go back to these models and try to see what exactly is happening. Now, VO2 is a model developed by Google DeepMind. It is a next generation diffusion based video model designed for high fidelity, long duration video generation with strong emphasis on safety, controllability and cinematic quality. This model is built on a transformer based architecture using temporal and spatial attention. It benefits from Google's extensive multimodal infrastructure and integration with Gemini model. In contrast, if you look at this WAN 2.2 model, it's an open source, open weight series of video foundation model developed by Alibaba's WAN team, Apache 2 license with its flagship 14 billion parameter mixture of expert variant, which you uh, are looking at your screen. And that was the one which generated that video. WAN 2.2 emphasizes scalability, efficiency and multilingual capabilities including the unique ability to generate videos with embedded Chinese and English text. It is publicly released under the Apache 2 license, which is amazing. And so that you can have broad accessibility and customization. Now, let me take you to the tabular comparison. And even before that, I have also given another Text prompt to both models, which says a phoenix soars above a burning forest, flames and embers lightening the smoke filled sky in vivid orange and red tones. The reason why I have given it now and view has already generated it, by the way, is because when 2.2 takes around 15 minutes to generate a short video. So there is one difference which you can immediately know between Google's view 2 and this when 2.2, of course, Google has Lo loads and loads of TPUs, whereas I have just one GPU, which is courtesy masked compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So this is my uh, GPU at the moment. Before I take you to the 
comparison one final thing is that i want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent agent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you can also find the link in videos description so first up if you look at this table this shows you the architectural similarities and key differentiators between vo2 and van 2.2 both models adopt the modern diffusion transformer framework with flow matching a choice that enables stable and scalable video generation but when 2.2 uses a mixture of expert architecture that allows higher effective model capacity while maintaining inference efficiency through conditional computation view 2 while likely similarly large does not disclose its parameter count or sparsity mechanism that suggest uh, maybe just maybe a dense design when 2.2 uses a t5 based text encoder whereas view benefits from deeper integration with google's gemini ecosystem potentially offering superior prompt understanding the v design differs slightly in compression strategy with when v optimized for higher reconstruction fidelity and temporal coherence google being closed source like this model I have just relied on their technical report and few other information which is publicly available. So if you look at this comparison around uh, training and data scaling, it underscores VAN 2.2's aggressive scaling strategy and transparency in data growth with quantified increases in image and video volume over its predecessor. VO2 relies on Google's vast data infrastructure and advanced captioning via Gemini, ensuring high quality, safe prompt, and of course they don't have any um, tariffs or any bans to worry about a standout feature of n 2.2 is its explicit support for generating on-screen text in both and english but it doesn't work we tested it in one of these videos doesn't work it doesn't display text very nicely so this is where i think uh, even though they say they support they don't okay next up let's check it out so benchmarking information look this is subjective this particular table which i have gleaned from the model cards of both shows totally two different philosophies in my opinion view two more emphasizes on cinematic realism and safety through human-led red teaming and internal matrices while van 2.2 introduces a standardized automated benchmark which is van bench 2 that quantifies performance across 14 granular matrices when 2.2 claims superiority over even closed models like Sora in this framework, though independent verification is pending. VO2's integration with Gemini gives it an edge in dense captioning and prompt understanding, particularly in OCR and object counting. Both models really excel in motion generation, but when 2.2 attributes its gains to passive data scaling, while VO2 focuses on coherence and physical realism and we also saw that in the uh, first video when we generated it now if you look here there is a fundamental divergence vo2 is a closed enterprise grade model likely deployed through google's cloud apis on tpus offers high quality but limited accessibility in contrast when 2.2 embraces open science with multiple model sizes including the efficient um you know 5 billion one which we already have covered on the channel which can run on consumer gpus when 2.2's inference optimizations such as model sharding and attention caching makes it practical for developers and creative teams with limited hardware this democratization of high quality video generation is a major step forward for the open source community whereas vo2 remains a powerful but restricted tool within google's ecosystem and then look here the view 2 shows a mature proactive approach to safety integrating multi-modal classifiers red teaming and strict data filtering to mitigate risks like non-consensual imagery hit content and stereotyping google is very very safe and same goes for van 2.2 they are also very safe and both advocate ethical use so what is the verdict here look there is no verdict at all uh, because both are good um both are evolving far far away from you know i would say uh, perfection or really really production grade quality especially 
you know, in terms of human figures and text and all that stuff and long video generation, I think long way to go, but you can already tell that is going to happen um, in the future, maybe not that sooner, but soon enough. So I have no doubt that this is where, you know, things are moving very, very quickly, not in the open source but in the closed source one. Now coming back to the video which I gave, so you see uh, Google has already generated this one and our WAN 2.2 on my GPU is still 90% done. So let's wait for it to finish and then I will show you. I think it shouldn't take more now. It's already been 10 minutes, I guess, or maybe seven minutes. And there you go, both have produced the video now. Let me show you the prompt again. So there is a phoenix that soars above a burning forest, flames and embers and all that stuff. If you don't know what phoenix is, phoenix is a mythical bird that cyclically regenerates or is reborn from its ashes after dying in a burst of flames. It primarily symbolizes immortal, Im immortal immortality. Anyway, so let's check it out. So this is a video of when 2.2 you see it is following the prompt where there are embers there is a phoenix which is very very correct how good that looks now let me show you the google's one it is also nice but you see um, i think that one is better but there is a burst of flames as you can see on the left but for the quality of um, cine cinematic realism, I think maybe just maybe this one is more vivid, more sort of it, you know, depicts the environment, what we are referring to around that. Let me try to see if I can just make it fill the screen here. That should be real uh, realism. Let's look at this. What do you think? looks really really meant okay so this is a van 2.2 14 billion one let me now run the other one vo2 in the full screen so this is a vo2 so it's not bad it's good no doubt about that they both have followed the prompt pretty nicely, but I think in terms of quality, I rate this video higher with Van 2.2. The other one was, I think VO2 was better. So you see, they are neck to neck. And I am more than sure that this uh, VO2 is not 14 billion. It is way higher than 14 billion but i don't know how much is the parameter count there but that's it let me know what do you think which model is better in your opinion very very keen to your thoughts maybe also give some examples that would be really cool please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as that helps a lot thank you for watching